Hello friends, Heather here, and today I'd like to share with you another vintage Halloween tag that I have created using my digital class sheets. So I thought I'd go ahead and just walk you through what I have done already. I started out with my large Halloween tag bases, so that's my background here, and then I um, used one of my calendars from my um, Halloween embellishment set, that, so that went on next, and then I put on my Halloween library card, and then up here at the top I used one of my little 31 um, clocks here, as well as one of my spooky tickets from my Halloween ticket set. So both of these um, images here come from my Halloween ticket set. And the little tiny um, 31, the butterfly, and both these candy corns, as well as this candy corn, and the moon, um, and the tiny calendar all come from the Halloween embellishment set. So um, down here I had this little banner. It goes across the bottom of my card and that is from my swallowtail banner backgrounds and little tiny banners which is right here. All right, let's see. So I think you can pretty much tell how I have these all layered on. And then down here at the bottom I have this little um, banner here and then I put down my moon and my owl which comes um, is a leftover from one of my uh, Halloween which is boot sets. And then um, I put my baddie pumpkin here and I slid under this candy corn here. All my edges had been um, distressed with Ranger's Distress Ink and frayed burlap. And then um, I think that's pretty much it and I just glued them down. So now I also decided this time to add some little tiny um, text boxes which I have in um, a couple different colors. So I have them you know, for like Christmas, I got them for Halloween. And so this um, set, I'm using like the chocolate ones. There's also orange and there's also a cream set. Um, so, but I decided to cut out all these little pieces and ink them with um, Ranger's Distress Ink and did the uh, chocolatey color. So these little things, uh, they kind of take a lot of time, but they really do look cool when you put them on your projects. So what I do normally is I just um, add a little glue to the back and I don't press it down too much and then I use my little wooden dowels which um, to kind of press it down and this is uh you can just pick these up at like Walmart or Meyer even in like the um, kitchen section little scores actually I want to think it was Meyer. So like your grocery store you know they don't cost a lot of money they're like a throwaway thing but I use them all the time and um I like to use them for twisting like beading wire and things like that too. So I just, I love these little boxes. It's just, um, I didn't want to cut them out on the video because it would take forever. Okay. So I'm going to go on and do, whoops, another one here. And then I'm going to go off camera and finish this up. Because I'm sure you can figure out how to do that. Okay. And just to uh, give you like a trick, when I am um, cutting out my tiny pieces, what I will normally do is I'll take like my full sheet and I'll split it in half pretty much. So I'll take like the full sheet of letters and numbers and I'll cut it in half because I have like um, tiny lowercase letters and I have the uppercase letters and then I'll just use a craft knife like this and I just set it down on my cutting mat and I just cut, cut them out easily. And so if I know which letters I'm going to use in advance, like if I'm going to do Halloween, then I'd go to the H and I'd do my H and then I'd come over here and I'd do an A and then I'd do an L and then i come back after I do all those cuts, I turn them around and I go this way. And it just seems to go quicker. So that's just a little tidbit. All right, I will be back in just a minute. Okay, so I've got my little tiny text boxes on here. Let me just give you up closey. There's the happy text boxes in Halloween. And then at the very bottom, I spelled out boo on that tiny banner. I just love the little tiny text boxes and how they um, just give it a super cute feel. All right, and before I go any farther, 
I keep forgetting to mention that on the 26th of October um, through the 30th, I will be taking part in the Gecko Gals blog hop. Um, Leanne is the owner of Gecko Gals, and she um, I joined her design team. It was like the first design team that I got on, and it's um, the only one that I've stayed on the whole time. Um, I usually just do uh, the blog post for her and... Um, you know, like design the background and stuff like that. But because of Lee, and that's when I um, decided to get into doing uh, collage sheets of my own and digital work. So before I had met her, I had never um, done any kind of digital work and her uh, collage sheets just inspired me to create my own. So if you love all my images and all my um, designs and everything, you can say a little thank you to Leanne because she is the one who got me started in all this. Now, the blog hop will start on the 26th, like I said. And the cool thing about the Gecko Gals blog hop is there probably, I'm not sure if there's 10 of us or 11 of us that are taking part. And each design team member has a full-size collage sheet that will be offered for free on their blog. Um, and so um, Leanne has given them each a sheet and I have um, designed my own. And it's just a, you know, simple, but it's Christmas inspired sheet and uh, I've just taken some images off the internet and resized them and they will fit on like some tags and things like that that I am um, going to be making. So join me on the 26th at my blog and um, hop around to the other blogs and get all those free sheets because who doesn't like free digital images? Super awesome. All right, I think I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and add some glue and I'm going to start glittering this up. So I'm going to get out my fine tip applicator and my designer dries clear glue which looks like this. You can tell I've had this for like a really long time. Um, I really do like their products, even though I'm not on their design team anymore. You just can't, there isn't a glitter in the store that stands up or is anywhere near the niceness of this glitter. It's just really, really nice and fine. Makes a big mess, but it's really nice. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna outline some of my um, images and then I'll just show you where I put the glue and then I'm gonna put the glitter on because I'm pretty sure you can figure it out by just looking. Thanks, I'll be right back. Okay, I'm gonna use um, Fauna Glitter first. So I have my glue on my little tips of my candy corns. I have dots kind of evenly spaced around the outside of my tag. So number 208 is Fauna. <clears throat> I should've just kept this in my hand. Whoops, here we go. that one. Sometimes when I do the dots of glitter or um, glue, I try to put like a bunch of glitter on there so it gets in all the, it's like all big and chunky at the moment here. Too funny. All right. Make sure I got all my candy corns. Looks like I did. All right. I think that's everything. And I use an extra sheet of paper to, um, knock all my excess glitter off onto. All right, so I'm just gonna let this dry and I will be right back. All right, I added glue to my little 31 circle and my owl and I'm gonna use Lion's Mane glitter, which is number 196, I believe. Let's see here, hopefully it'll show up. Yep, okay. Super cute. It's getting pretty and sparkly. All right, I added some glue to my candy corns here and my butterfly. I've got it on my little banner here at the bottom, my pumpkin and my other candy corn. And I am going to use pumpkin glitter number 56. So. Looking good. OK, 
I'm going to use number 230 Halo on the tops of my candy corns and on the moon. Um, normally I use uh, the lion's mane on the moon, but I decided to be different this time. So they're real similar in color. So I thought since I already used the lion's mane on the um, owl, I thought I'll use the halo this time on the moon and that way it'll pop out a little bit more from the owl since they're not going to be the same. So. Super cute. Yeah. And just so you see that they're, they are similar colors. Here is the um, lion's mane around the moon and then here is the uh, halo, which actually goes really good with the moon color. All right, I've added some glue to my um, Halloween tickets and my little butterfly at the top and then my baddie pumpkin's wings as well as the tip of his little hat. And I am gonna add autumn glitter to that. So. And Autumn Glitter is number 165. All right. Super cute. I think I'm going to come back and I'm going to add some Fauna Glitter just to the little hat. And I might add a little bit of black to the bow. Otherwise, I'm going to call this... Eh, I don't know. I may come just on the inside here, like up through the October in here. And normally I would do fauna, but I think I'm going to go ahead and do uh, the lion's mane. So I'll do that and then I'll show you when I am finished. All right, my tag is all finished as far as glitter goes. So I did add a little bit of the um, autumn color to my pumpkin's hat and some of the... Uh, Lion's Mane to the side of the calendar there. You see the little corner. And also over here on the library card. So I'm just going to be a little close-up of all my pieces. All the little elements. Super cute. And I'm really happy with how this turned out. So, again, don't forget to check out my blog post on the 26th. Um, to join in the blog hop and get all those free collage sheets. If you have any questions, you can leave me a comment below. Um, or you can send me an email. And I am kind of wondering like if I should do the whole video of putting the whole thing together or if I should just do like a walkthrough after I'm done doing a tag. So if you wanted to leave me a comment, let me know. That'd be great. Thanks. Thanks for watching.